Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in today's fifth video. Well, 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 busy old deck gas web is today. We're going to have a quick 12Z round up to uh, finish things off. So we'll have a look at uh, the latest 12Z bottle runs. They've all been updating uh, through uh, the last uh, couple of hours. And uh, ECM is updating right now. We'll bring you up to date with all of the latest. Video will only be around 10 minutes and I shall rattle through as quickly as possible. Just say that the first video today was our 7 a.m. upload. We've also released the EC 30-day uh, forecast UK and Europe. That's the last one of those until uh, after Christmas. Um, also, the 10 to 14 day. Uh, uh, so, it's been a busy, busy day at uh, Gaz Web is today. Please like, share, subscribe on all of the videos. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Oh, and the Chris updates as well. Let's not forget that one. Uh, right, okay, so I'm uh, going to go through 12Z uh, right now, then for our final video of the day. Here we go, then we're starting off on Christmas Eve with the UK Met Euro. And uh, again, same idea as we've talked about in the videos over the past few days, blocking around Greenland, Iceland, low pressure in the Atlantic, and a cold blast of northerly winds over Scandinavia. Right, let's run through and see what happens then, shall we? So we go into uh, Christmas Day. Uh, high pressure strengthens. A block strengthens to the north uh, and pulls in these cold, easy winds. Low pressure coming up against that uh, is blocked. And uh, as the low pressure sort of digs southwards, uh, we pull in an easy wind that might deliver some snow some point over Christmas pitch. You know all the uncertainty was going on over Christmas at uh, the moment. It stays cold then uh, after Christmas to the 27th of December at about ridge of high pressure. Eventually, as far as we get to with UK at Euro, it's big day on a Tuesday when the low pressure looks like it's about to start trying to move in from the Atlantic. Which way does that go? Does it stay cold? Does it turn milder? It all looks pretty poised uh, at that point. Right, let's have a look at the GFS uh, then and see what that one's doing. Here we go then. So we're going to start off. Uh, with GFS uh, 12 dead. Uh, once again, uh, we've got low pressure out to the Atlantic on uh, Thursday, blocking over high pressure to our uh, north. We get into Christmas. Again, so idea is low pressure being diverted down towards Biscay by its blocking area of high pressure, pulling in these cold east to southeast winds. This low pressure really deepens to the southwest of Ireland, so we could get some gale force winds. Uh, Christmas Day into Boxing Day, very, very tightly packed isobars. There'll be an icy wind as well, icy wind. Uh, from the east, and that could deliver some snow, some parts of uh, England and Wales as well. Then that low pressure sort of clears away to the south. High pressure then sort of ridges through the country after Christmas. That will turn us drier, but it will be very cold out of that area of high pressure with a lot of frost. 29% of the low pressure is starting to stage an attack from the Atlantic. Is this going to turn us mild? Well, no, not really. That low pressure comes up against the blocking area of high pressure and uh, is blocked and uh, sort of starts slipping southwards. So that might deliver uh, another snow event as we go towards the uh, new year. Then we're under this ridge of high pressure, looking mainly dry, cold, very frosty. Uh, with that, low pressure is trying to come in off the Atlantic around new year. Putting wind into south. That's a milder wind. Uh, but again, there would be like uh, potentially rain or snow with that. But look at this. We're getting towards 2nd of January. High pressure strengthens over Scandinavia. How interesting is that? And uh, we start pulling in this cold east wind courtesy of this Scandinavian high as we get through the first week of January. So tonight's GFS 12 it keeps it cold right into January. No four. No uh, change to milder weather. Just stays cold uh, right into the 8th of Jan January as far as we get 6th of January, I should say. And by that point, it looks like we're raising the heights over Greenland again. So that's a prolonged cold spell that is setting up there uh, with the GFS. So let's just have a very quick look at the uh, precipitation uh, forecast showing from uh, the weather outlook. So uh, we'll do that based on that uh, GFS 12Z uh, run. So uh, Chris C, quite a bit of rain, a little bit of snow over high ground in the north. Uh, that's midday Christmas Day when we've got some snow from parts of Wales and Midlands to East Anglia. Looks quite light, but, you know, it's noteworthy. Uh, very rarely does it snow through the Midlands uh, on uh, on Christmas Day. So that'll be like my first white Christmas, I think, in terms of snow falling of my lifetime, really, and I'm sort of 44 years old, so it would be very noteworthy, and then the snow turns really heavy overnight uh, Christmas day to Boxing Day, look at this, through Wales and the Midlands, a real snow event starts getting going there, obviously this is all subject to change, that snow could be further north and that could be further south, might, might not even materialise, just the latest idea that there could well be snow around Christmas Day, to Boxing Day, another snow event there on the 29th of December, uh, and then we go through to New Year's Day, and there's another snow event there as that low pressure is stalling 
very, very cold and snowy uh, GFS 12Z run tonight. And, and it stays cold all the way up uh, into the first week of January. But mild weather never gets uh, through. Right, so really interesting GFS 12Z. Let's have a look at the GM, see what that one is doing. If you enjoyed the video, please can smash the like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think. Again, this is GM Chris today. Uh, cold air coming in from the east as low pressure is diverted southwards. So, uh, GM, much of a much this cold uh, over Christmas and uh, staying cold into the post-Christmas period. Low pressure trying to move in uh, as you head up towards the new year. It is struggling quite a bit. So, maybe turns a bit milder in the south, but would deliver some snow uh, up to the north uh, with that. And that's how you finish up with the GM at day temperatures on New Year's Eve under a ridge of high pressure and still really struggling to get the Atlantic through, to be honest. Icon is looking like uh, this. Has Icon shifted for Christmas? Let's have a look, see what's happening. So, uh, this is how Icon uh, looks again. Christmas Day again. We are putting in those east south east winds. I think Icon looks a little bit colder there with the upper air temperatures. Actually, no, not really. Icon is still sticking with its idea of a mild Christmas Day for most parts of the country. Minus five south south um, is restricted to the extreme northeast of Scotland. I don't know what is up with Icon uh, at all, to be honest. So it never really gets the cold air down to south uh, until after Christmas when it does start to go colder but icon is still trying to cling to its idea of a milder christmas and then this is how the ecm is looking that's been updating as we've been speaking so has that shifted its ideas for christmas that's christmas day uh let's see what it's doing with the upper air temperature so yeah it is moving that cold air a little bit further south still over mild but i think ready for England and Wales, to be honest. I think the cold air will be a little bit further south was than that. But each is starting to shift its ideas uh, for uh, for Christmas by Boxing Day. Look like that. So still relatively mild in the south. It is still struggling to get that cold air south. Was ECM and ICOM are still struggling to get that cold air through. Uh, it does go cold after Christmas and that area of high pressure very quickly swept away and we turn milder. It looks like another mild ECM run tonight. Lastly, we'll just have a look at the GFS uh, 12Z graph and see how that one is looking. Let's go to Northampton, uh, shall we? So we can see that uh, the operation run was a cold outlier. Uh, just here around the new year. There is still this warming trend that's going on into the new year. So so cold uh, with the uh, GFS Ensembles Christmas towards new year. May get milder into the new year. Maybe a bit of a cooling trend there. The operational run was a cold outlier around the new year, but that does not necessarily mean that it is wrong, of course. Right, uh, that's your 12Z uh, roundup. So, uh, there we go. That brings an end to today's video. It's very, very interesting GFS run. Was it an outlier? Was it a trend center? Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Will the cold air carry on uh, into uh, into uh, January? And ECM gradually being pulled towards the card of Christmas, but it is having to be so kicking and screaming, uh, to be honest. So, still the uncertainty, really still the uncertainty goes on. And bear in mind, Christmas Day is Saturday, uh, we're Tuesday night now. I mean, you'd expect by this point we would have agreement, but we still have a lot of uncertainty. It's like uh, GFS and GM versus E7 Icon, uh, really, we're, uh, you know. So, so it's, it's a crazy bit of crazy time of uh, modern watching, uh, but there we go. Uh, that's what it's, how it's all looking for tonight. We'll update you tomorrow, of course, so there'll be much, much more coming up tomorrow, but you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday evening. And uh, for this 12Z roundup, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.